this is like the sweetest fruit ever i mean it's very tasty it's sweet it's uh i don't know how to i don't know how to explain this taste to you welcome to my kitchen by nana today i'm going to be showing you how to make guanabana juice this type of fruit is actually very common here in uganda people actually plant the trees in their compounds some plant them as flowers or in their gardens it's uh the temperatures here are favorable for this type of plant to grow here and so to begin with you have to wash your fruit very very well to avoid any bacteria and then wash your hands carefully because we are going to be using our hands a lot in this uh, type of juice so you have to wash them and sanitize them because you wouldn't want people getting sick at your own cost so what you need is a knife uh, because you are going to use it to peel off the peeling you peel it off very carefully it's actually very easy as long as you start you just pull off the rest you don't need to cut through just put the knife at the top and then you just pull off the rest of the peeling uh, some people actually like it uh, raw with they like it uh, without the juice they just want the fruit and don't forget to remove that uh, middle thing I don't know it's not a stem I know what it's called and my dad is actually scooping out some fruit he likes this type of fruit kids love this type of fruit it's very healthy and beneficial because uh i did some research and they say it helps to kill cancer cells because it helps to stop uh, their development in your body it also helps to fight bacteria in your body it boosts the immunity stabilizes uh, blood sugar levels in your body and many more other other health benefits and besides that it's very tasty you can have it any time of the day especially on a sunny day just freeze it and then have it when it's very cold so don't forget to remove the seeds from the fruit you can use a sharp knife to poke and then you remove the seeds but i'm using my hands and if you have any seed that accidentally grows in the fruit that is for blending it's very okay it actually has no uh it doesn't change the flavor of the juice it's very very okay you don't mind that and after blending this juice makes a very very nice thick yogurt like uh what can i say paste it's very smooth and very nice it has a very nice white color and i'm adding in some sugar because i'm going to actually dilute the juice but uh, if you're not going to dilute it you don't actually need to add sugar because this fruit is already sweet it's already very very sweet it has its own natural sugar so you have to blend it very well because you want all the juices to come out of the fruit and you want it to be very very smooth so that we have no problem trying to sieve it uh, but still I'm going to add in some water because as you can see it's very thick I'll add in some water to it and then sieve it very well you need a very good sieve because uh, it's hard to see if you've not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell for more videos uh, my kitchen by Nana is the channel subscribe hit the notification bell and if you've liked my video, please keep around for more videos.